Thank you for choosing Optisys 16x16 Multi-Format Matrix, OMM1000. This quick installation guide will show you how to set up and use the matrix with short description. For more details, please visit our website, www.optisys.com. The OMM1000 modular matrix chassis is mountable on 19-inch standard rack. Key buttons. LCD displays. And reset switch are placed on the front panel. OMM1000 enables to switch up to 16 different DVI or HDMI sources to 16 different digital displays and is mountable on 19-inch standard rack. It can be configured using 4 input and output cards. And each card has 4 ports of input and output. OMM1000 provides a multi-viewer card, QDVIO, selecting four inputs and configurable as seven different layouts. OMM1000 also provides a single power or dual power suppliers as an option for hot swapping and load sharing. Up to 16 electrical and optical DVI inputs and outputs can be configured. HDMI card is an option. DVI input format can be converted to HDMI and vice versa. Complies with DDC, HDCP for electrical DVI and HDMI cards. Supports up to WXGA at 60 Hz refresh ratio for DVI or 1080p at 60 Hz for HDMI. Supports three different types of EDID management, default, auto mix, and output copy mode. Supports various control methods such as key buttons operation, command input, hyperterminal by RS-232 and Telnet by TCP-IP. Web Panel Control by TCP-IP Works with Optisys DVI and HDMI Optical Extender for Long Signal Extension Has Dual Power Supplier for Hot Swapping and Load Sharing Equips Multi-Viewer Card to be used in various monitoring systems Provides Diagnostic Function for Quick Troubleshooting has video generator output and monitoring output for easy installation. Insert a card into the slot, adjusting the position between an internal frame and screw it firmly. Connect an electrical DVI port from a source to the input port in SDVI-4EI. In order to connect an optical DVI, you can use a transmitter of Optisys One Fiber DVI Extender, DVFX100, to the source by SC Optical Cable and simply connect SC Receptacle to the SDVI-1FI. For output part, connect an electrical DVI port to the output port in SDVI-4EO and the other end to the display. Connect an SC receptacle to SDVI-1FO and the other end to the receiver of DVFX100 being connected into the display. Plug the provided AC power cord to AC power inlet and turn on switch on the front panel. Then. OMM1000 will start initialization process.
OMM1000 starting will be shown on LCD display. After 7 to 10 seconds, OMM1000 booting completed message and hardware and firmware version information will be shown. Now, OMM1000 is ready to receive commands from user. To turn it off completely, pull out AC power cord, switch on the front panel is rest switch. Press Link Key button. Press an input key button. LCD will display current connected output. Press single or multiple output key buttons to select desired outputs. Outputs can be deselected by pressing each output key button again. Press Enter key button to save the configuration. To configure next input and output connection, repeat these steps. In order to unlink input and output connection, press Shift, Link buttons, and the Input button to be disconnected. Then, press Enter button to save. In order to control OMM1000 by RS232, baud rate shall be set. Press Function button 10 times to select baud rate. The default value is 115,200. Press Input button 3 to select previous number, and Input button 4 to select next number. Press Enter button to save. In order to control OMM1000 by TCP IP or UDP, IP address shall be set. Press Function button three times to select IP address. Press Input buttons 1 and 2 to move the cursor left and right. Press input button 3 to select previous number, and input button 4 to select next number. Press enter button to save. The various EDID information of display can be restored in input port to provide an efficiency of installation. OMM1000 supports three types of EDID setting. Default mode, auto mix mode, and output copy mode. Press Function button 9 times to select EDID configuration. Press Input buttons 1 and 2 to select Yes and No. Press Input button 1 to enter the EDID configuration mode. Select an input port by pressing Input buttons 5 and 6. Press input buttons 3 and 4 to change EDID mode. If you select default mode by pressing input button 1, the OMM1000 will recover the default EDID to allocated input. In order to control OMM1000 by RS232 or TCP IP via hyperterminal or telnet, the router shall be connected to PC with RS232 cable or LAN cable with RJ45 connector. The default IP address of OMM1000 is 192.168.1.117. Before connecting OMM1000 to your network, please verify the availability of IP address in your network. The PC program provides a user-friendly graphic interface alternative to key button and serial command input operation. Click Set Config button to set the communication method, input and output name, video generator, and so on. 
select the way of control method between RS-232 and Ethernet, UDP. In case of RS-232 control, enter available COM port number of your PC and select baud rate. The baud rate should be same as in key button operation. The default value is 115,200. In case of Ethernet, enter IP address of OMM1000 and UDP port number. 3000 is default port number of OMM1000. Click Save button to save the change. User can allocate specific names for all inputs and outputs to distinguish them. After modification, click Save button to save it. Then, the change will be applied on the PC program. Then, close Set Config window and click Connect button on PC program of OMM1000 to start it. If the connection is properly made, current status of OMM1000 will be shown at the bottom side of PC program. Press each input channel and output channel to be connected. Press a preferred input channel to the output channel. Then, the display is changed by designated source. In order to unlink, press the designated input and output once again. Press All Link button and select a preferred input to be copied into all output channels. Press Link Clear button to deactivate all connected input and output channels. OMM1000 provides three types of EDID setting for easy installation with various displays. To set the EDID option for each input port, click Set EDID button. Then, Setup EDID window will open. To set EDID information for each input, select Mode button and click Input Channel. Default mode is default EDID from the factory. By selecting it, default EDID will be recovered for allocated input channels. Output copy mode reads EDID from any target displays and copies it in input port. Select input channel and a preferred output channel from a box. Then, click Apply button to save it. Auto Mix Mode is the most advanced one. It analyzes all EDID of attached displays at the output ports of OMM1000 and get optimized EDID. Users Edit Mode is used to modify existing EDID to make new EDID working with specific systems. It is not recommended for general user. The most outstanding feature of OMM1000 is Embedded Multiviewer Card, QDVIO. Multiviewer Card, QDVIO, can choose four inputs among 16 inputs of OMM1000 and configure and output these input signals with seven different layouts. QDVIO can be inserted one of output slots and it will be shown on PC program. Click Out Slot 4 Bar to launch Setup Quad Multiviewer Card window. Select Output Resolution of Multiviewer Card first. And select Output Layout according to your needs. You can make full screen of selected input, same size quad view, and magnified one and small three with four inputs by selecting layout button. Optisys Modular Digital Matrix OMM1000 
can be installed in various applications with configurable multi-format cards and special features. We always welcome your any request or question about installation and inquiries. For more details, please visit our website www.optisys.com or send us your message to 2sales at optisys.com. Thank you again.